Hi, this is Bob Lessick in the Center for Biotechnology Education at Johns Hopkins. In this exercise, we'll be using Biomarked to retrieve data from Ensemble using both the web server at Ensemble.org and the command line using R. To get to the Biomark web server, go to the Ensemble main page. That's at Ensemble.org. And then scroll up to the top and click Biomark on the blue toolbar. And that takes you to a menu where you're allowed to choose your database. In any Biomark search, there are four arguments. Attributes, that's the column headers that you want in your output. Filters. Filters will enable you to limit results to the results that you want to see. Values are identifiers that are used along with the filters to limit results. Mart is your fourth argument, that's your data set selection. Okay, let's start with the fourth argument, that's the mark. that's the database selection. And if you notice, there is a pull-down menu that says Choose Database. And we are going to choose Ensemble Gene 65. That's the most recent, as of right now, that's the most recent build of Ensemble. And the data set we're going to choose, we're going to look for a human gene that is Homo sapiens genes. Now let's get back to actually creating an exercise with a goal. We're going to use human genes. Our goal for this exercise is going to be to find all known transcripts of the human estrogen receptor 1 gene. To do that, let's first find that estrogen receptor 1 gene in the Entree Gene Database at NCBI. Okay, so here's the front page of the Entree Gene Database at NCBI. And I will type in estrogen receptor 1 capital A-N-D, to capitalize the Boolean operators, the NCBI databases, human, and I'll do bracket O-R-G-N, that make sure I limit my output to only human genes, that limiting to the organism field. Okay, let's well, see, my first hit is the ESR1, so that is the estrogen receptor 1 gene for Homo sapiens. So I'll click this ESR1 to open the record. The only piece of information I really need is the identifier, 2099, because that's how I'm going to search Biomark to limit to that specific gene, this particular estrogen receptor 1 gene. Okay, so let's keep our four arguments in mind as we go to search Biomark on the web server. We've already selected the mark that is Homo sapiens genes in Ensemble Gene 65. The first argument is attributes, that's what I want my table to show and the default values are Ensemble Gene ID and Ensemble Transcript ID. We'll click External, I'll add the RefSeq Transcript ID number, so I'll look for RefSeq mRNA. That'll give me the NCBI RefSeq identifier for each of the transcripts. The second argument is Filters, and what I want to limit to is I click this Genes pull-down menu, and I'll change to Entree Gene ID, and we know that the Entree Gene ID for the estrogen 1 receptor is 2099, so I'll put in 2099. The second argument is the filter itself, that's the Entree Gene ID. The third argument is the value, in this case the value is 2099. The fourth argument is already selected, that's the data set. If I click count, that gives me one out of 54,000 genes. So 54,000 genes in the human data set. I've hit one gene, which is the estrogen 1 receptor, but I should have multiple rows because I have multiple transcripts coming out of that gene. So when I click results, you notice here's the gene ID, here's the transcript ID. The gene ID is always the same because it's the same gene. The transcript ID is different because they are different transcript identifiers. And it looks like only some of these code for mRNAs. The others are probably processed transcripts that are non-coding. Now, we can also use R on the command line 
to solve each of these four arguments and we should get the same results. Okay, now here is R. R is an open source uh, free program. And I've already downloaded the Biomart library. So I can in R type library parentheses lowercase b i o m a capital R T. And I should have that in quotes. So I'm going to go back and put the Biomart in quotes. R should be capitalized because we're using R. That's how that Biomart is defined. And wait for the prompt. And then the command for MART is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to create a shortcut. And I define a shortcut by saying, I'll make the shortcut called Ensemble. That means when I type Ensemble, what I really mean is use MART, which allows me to use a particular MART. And I can choose my MART and data set here. The MART is Ensemble, comma, data set equals in quotes, H. Sapiens Gene Ensemble. And there's a command to get the uh, names of these databases. And parentheses. Gotta wait for the prompt. Okay, now I'm going to be able to use all four arguments on what I call the getBM command. getBM stands for get biomark. Parentheses. My first argument is attributes equals, I type C because there's more than one, parentheses. And what I want are ensemble gene ID, and there's underscores in that. And the names of the attributes can be found using the list attributes command. Ensemble, transcript, and remember these are my headers for my output. Transcript, ID, quote, and our third column was RefSeq, RNA. In parentheses, and my, my next argument is filters, and my filter was for entree gene ID, and that filter is entree gene, one word, and you can use the list filters command to get the list of filters in Ensemble. Values, the entree gene ID, if you remember, the estrogen 1 gene was 2099. Mart equals ensemble, and I defined ensemble in the previous line, so that will give me that use mart command. And parentheses for the whole get bm command. And I see what I did. And that allows me to show something. I mistyped one of my attributes. So if I hit the up arrow, that gives me the command from the previous line. And I said RefSeq RNA, the actual attribute is RefSeq mRNA. And here is my table, just like the table that I found using the web server. So basically, anything you can do on the web server, you should be able to do using R. And if you are a little bit more familiar with command line work, this might be a simpler way to go. I hope you found this exercise helpful. and. Good luck using Biomark.